since fiscal year 15, um, while we've been steadily reducing our tax rate, um, you know, the revenue has not increased by very much. And in fact, we've um, foregone at this point, $1.16 billion in revenue since fiscal year 15. Where we are in fiscal year 2022, um, if we didn't have the Prop 1 cap, we would have been able to collect an additional $243 million, about $244 million. In 2019, the state legislative session imposed a revenue cap on other cities not named Houston in the state of Texas. Dallas and San Antonio, Austin now have revenue caps. That the city of Houston should be treated equitably when it comes to comparisons with the city of Dallas, with the city of San Antonio, with the city of Austin, but yet we're not. We have more res restrictive revenue cap limitations that keep us from doing things that we would like to do in the city of Houston. I would love to see the administration take on a charter amendment that talks about this inequitable tr treatment that we receive from the state and pose to the voters in the city of Houston that we should have a tax revenue cap equal to Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, El Paso. That creates consistency in the way that we're treated in Austin by the state legislature. I will certainly bring it up to the mayor to bring it up to the next charter uh, amendment, charter elections, to, to have our cap standard as the rest of the cities in the state. On Chair Martin's last point, I would like to point out that if we were playing on the same playing field as the rest of the state, uh, we would be able to adopt a rate that was at the voter approval rate, the three and a half percent, and that would generate an additional $34.7 million from the Prop 1 cap.